very good afternoon and welcome to another episode of A Funny Kind of Grown Up. Today finds me in Preston um, because it's really cute down these little side streets. I thought I'd uh, do a little bit of filming. This is also somewhat of a different uh, video for me because I'm not talking about my weight loss journey and I'm not talking about random holidays and I'm not talking about my sister's wedding. I'm going to do a book review because... I've, when I say I've read, I'm about to say I've read a book, I haven't read a book, um, I'm, and sorry, I'm just checking, I'm not going to get run over, hence the not looking at you at all. Um, wow, there's a lot of stairs going down to this park. I uh, think I'm just going to walk on the road, so that seems more sensible. Anyway, so I wanted to talk to you about some books that I've listened to recently. I'm, a, I'm an Audible subscriber, and I do love listening to audiobooks. And I've been listening to books by an, um, an author called Kendara Blake, who is doing somewhat of a revival of the Buffy the Vampire Slayer story, but uh, like the new generation. Now, uh, if I see any people coming towards me, I will be stopping the video and picking it back up. Um, so if there are weird cuts, that will be why. But yes, we're going to talk about uh, One Girl in All the World, and we're going to talk about In Every Generation. Now, these books are, for anybody who's a fan of the Buffy the Vampire Slayer series, I think they are vital, uh, vital reading or listening to. They pick up 20 years after um, the fall of Sunnydale, so after the, what they call the Spike explosion. Uh, Spike wore the necklace, everything blew up, they all ran away, escaped on a yellow school bus. If you're a fan of the uh, show, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you're not a fan of the show, you've probably already switched off by now. So 20 years after the show, and it comes to, starts off in high school, which feels very normal, in the new Sunnydale High School. They've rebuilt the town. And at high school is uh, Jake Osborne, who is the nephew of Oz, Daniel Osborne, uh, who was a werewolf, for those of you that don't know. And Frankie Rosenberg, daughter of Willow Rosenberg. And we're all going, okay. So Willow's gay, so how's that happened? Well, how that has happened is because when Willow did the spell at the end of season seven to um, create all the Slayers, she merged with the essence of the first Slayer and the baby arrived. Uh, there's more information, in the, uh, more information in the book, but that's the, the essence of it. So we're 20 years later and every year there is a Slayer Fest for those of you that have watched season three, it's not that kind of Slayer Fest. This is where all the Slayers from all the world get together. And they've all got together in Halifax, which is somewhere in America. And there's been a massive explosion. And nobody knows what's happened to the Slayers, if they've survived, if they're all dead. But all of a sudden, Frankie Rosenberg is called as the new Slayer. Now, she's also a witch, so she's the first ever Slayer witch. Um, so this is like, I'm doing some world building here. I'm not going to give away anything vital to the plot. So, you've got the first ever Slayer Witch. Uh, you've got a character called Haley, who is the sister of a Slayer. And uh, her sister is missing in the explosion. So they're trying to work out what's happened to her. And also, um, I had to stop somebody who was behind me. Um, so they're trying to figure out what's happened to Haley's sister. They are also, sort of Frankie's trying to get to grips with her power. And her watcher, is Spike, who is obviously, as anybody who knows me knows, is my absolute favourite character from Buffy. And now he's a good guy, he's a watcher. Um, in order to continue watching her, he is having to take up a job in the library. Uh, so Willow has to, like, glamour his face so that he looks a little bit older. Um, and then the glamour sticks and he's got this, like, 40-year-old face on his 20-year-old looking body, which is really, like, 400 years old. So it's all about their trials and tribulations of sort of navigating slayerdom and trying to work out who everybody is um, as people and as slayers. And Jake, uh, who is, as I said, the nephew of Oz, is a werewolf. Um, there's a, a new big bad, as you would expect there to be, a new evil vampire um, that they have to deal with. There's a new brooding, might be evil, might not be evil character for the Slayers to fall in love with because it wouldn't be a Buffy novel if that didn't happen. I'm going on a really sleep hill right now. So I might make this a series doing book reviews 
whilst trying not to die. Um, <laughs> but yes, um, just to wrap this up, because I have rambled for a long time. So you've got Frankie the Vampire Slayer, and you've got her gang of Scoobies, which is Haley, the sister of a Slayer, and then you've got Jake, who is the um, nephew of a werewolf, who's also a werewolf, um, and there's a whole story behind him. Uh, but basically, what I'm trying to say is, if you like Buffy, you will love these books. Um, absolutely phenomenal. Um, I've listened to the first two. I cannot wait. I'm hoping there's going to be another one. Uh, because, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Loved it. Um, so that is One Girl in the World and In Every Generation by Kendara Blake. Audiobook on Audible, where you can buy the actual book. And, uh, yeah, do it. I liked them. So from the beautiful Winkley Square in Preston, that was my first ever book review. I promise I'll try and do an, another one that's maybe um, a little bit more comprehensible and a little bit less panting because there's big hills. Look, hill behind me. So I'm going to go and carry on with my Sunday walk in Preston and uh, I will see you all very soon. Until then, I will remain a funny kind of grown-up.